All right. Welcome back to the garage. Uh, tonight we are we're working on the shelves, part of the bookshelves. We've got the uprights completed. Um, we're going to start cutting shelves. So we went to Lowe's, um, bought some 2 by 12s I was able to get them without having to give up my firstborn. It was close. Um, they're expensive. Hate the price of wood right now. It's ridiculous. But uh, yeah, so we got our 2 by 12s We're going to start cutting them for the shelves. We got them marked out. Um, then we're going to do, we'll cut the straight ones, which are very simple, straight cuts. And the corner shells are going to be interesting. I'll show you on how I how I set those up. Um, just say that CAD is a CAD is a wonderful tool. So here we go. There's one. We're gonna take here, and after I get them all cut, I'll break out the router and I'll I'll route these edges here so it sits down on that angle iron. That angle iron sits right there, just nicely. So. Shelf number one. Yeah, I can set up my I can set up my chop saw and do this, but these aren't that precision. These are good enough. Another shelf. See that? Half a line. Oh, I missed a little bit in the middle there. Half a line there and half a line there. Perfect cut. A wood, woodworking tip of the day. When you're cutting long boards and you don't want that end to fall off and crack and break and you don't have anybody to hold it or even if you do have somebody to hold it, you put shims underneath it like this, space it up. Just so happen to have some spare pieces of plywood, clip under there, and then when you cut it, nothing moves. It all stays perfectly still. And your tip of the day. So this one here, it's got a crack in this end because the corner shelves are a little bit shorter. I'm gonna make a corner shelf out of this. Actually, not that crack, but I'm gonna make a corner shelf out of this one. That way, I can get rid of that. So the cool thing about CAD is I can tell it what I want for a corner and I can basically draw the piece I want exactly how I want it, fit everything, make sure it looks right, and then, uh, and then put dimensions on it and it works out perfectly. So what I did is, because I want my two posts, I want my cover pages, so I'm like, all right, I gotta wrap that corner. I want, a 40, I want a board that goes 45 degrees across the corner and I, but my, my uprights are perpendicular to that wall, perpendicular to a wall here and then perpendicular to a wall here and then 45, the board has to go across at a 45 degree angle. I can't turn my uprights to be 45 degrees, they're, they're 90 degrees to the wall. So I had to design the board so I could cut the corner just right to uh, to fit in there, sit on the uprights, and and just turn out nice. So I'm gonna draw that out on here. I've got it all detailed on my prints that you'll be able to buy. One of these days there will be a link in the description. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and mark that out. There you have marked your board, your corner board. This is the front of the shelf. This is what goes back in the corner. You got this right here sits on a bracket. This one here sits on a bracket right in the corner. And that will actually go flush with the backs of the boards that go the other direction. It'll make more sense when we put them up, but we're gonna cut it. 
after I made verify all of my measurements. about like that. Post here, post here, sorry. Post that goes here, post that goes here, wall is here, wall is here. So it'll sit in there just, just like that. On the next one. What you got going on here? I am putting steam on. We're yeah. Testing this out. Color test, huh? Mm-hmm. Look at that. So we put our pre-stain on before, and now we're putting on stain. We're checking our color to see if that's the color we like. If that's the color we're gonna go with for the boards. So there's a preview of it. We'll let it dry and see if we like it. We're using what we're using we're using this verithane stuff from home depot we put the pre-stain on there and then we're putting this stuff on here this color is special walnut so it's a it's a pretty good color we'll see if it's as special as it says it is all right so we have our shelves cut all of the shelves are cut all of our corners are cut all the straight ones are cut now we are going to go and we're gonna route, use the router around all these corners, take the sander, we're gonna sand them all up and make them all look nice. We've got our sample over here. Showed you earlier, this is our, this is our paint sample. This is the raw wood, this is what it looks like painted. We're gonna put another coat on that. We're gonna put another coat on that paint sample just to see how that looks um, and go from there. So there's a lot of work yet. This is just cut. So there's a lot of work yet in uh, getting these sanded, getting all the edges routed, sanded. They're trying to take out as many of the imperfections as we can. We don't take them all out because you still want some of the character in the wood, but I'll show you an example here. So right here, in the front, uh, right, right here, front edge of the board, you got all these little marks. I don't really like the looks of those. They're, um, I don't really like the looks of those. Uh, and that's on the front side of that shelf. So I'll probably actually run that across the table saw and just take a, take a, uh, probably about a half a blade width off and it'll take most of those little divots out of there and make them look a lot better. Um, yeah. That's where we're at. So we're gonna go through these, route the ends, sand them all, get them all ready and prepped for paint. And we can paint them and then we can put up bookshelves. Pretty exciting. So that's where we're at. It's a lot of, uh, that's a lot of two by 12s. So told you we'd have uh, bookshelves you can do pull-ups on. So um, that's where we're at. Here we go. Alright, 
Now on to the straight shells. Alright, there we go. There's the shell. I got the ends all routed. Make those look really nice. I'll show you here. One of the reasons I did that, because angle iron has a rounded corner right in here. And when you round it like that, the angle iron will sit. You can see that the angle iron sits perfectly in that edge and get good contact on the bottom and the side. And doesn't, and then it's not, uh, then it's not wiggly, so it looks really good. So, when we're done, 17 to go. So, we'll knock these out real quick. So, it's a new day. Uh, last night is a bit of a late night. We got all of the boards cut, all of the edges routed. And now it's time to sand. Um, I'm not going to show you the whole process of sanding them because it's extremely boring. But last night I, I bundled them all up like this. I put all the straps on them. You can see, try to keep them pulled together tight. Hopefully they don't warp too much while they're drying out. These boards are they're a little wet. So yeah, I'm going to start with the start with the corner pieces. Start getting those sanded out and dried, or sanded out, not dried. Getting those sanded out. Oh. I've got a, uh, I think it's normally like a, a car buffer sander, but it's a big lower RPM sander I'm going to be using. This will knock the, knock a lot of the, the high stuff off really fast. I think it's like a seven inch disc. Works awesome. I love these things. I've sanded uh, a good number of tables with these tables and dressers and whatever else I was building. Um, one of my favorite tools. So yeah, uh, we're gonna get at it. It's about all it takes for, for one of those boards. So I'll take the, the palm sander next and do the edges and any finish work, but this thing's awesome. It knocks it down so fast. And if you do it right, it doesn't leave, doesn't leave uh, grooves in it. Okay, so the shells are sanded. Um, took a little more than four hours, but every one of them's all sanded up, ready for paint. So that's about that. Um, a little bit boring. Skipped over most of the fun part of sanding. Don't think you want to watch four hours with the sanding, so I edited all that out just for you. Um, yeah, that's where we're at. So thanks for watching.